What is up my original bagels and today this is an update video yeah I know rant Wednesday same day as rant Wednesday and yes there is a rant coming out today as well and let's get right into this so yesterday YouTube uh, put into in a feature where you can live stream on YouTube but you will have to have the likes of OBJ oh, yeah, blah, blah. OBS or XSplit or any of those other ones that people use that I don't really know of. You will have to set up an encoding software. Then you need to add a live stream info, meaning your title could be Call of Duty Ghosts or not called Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Beta and then a description of whatever. Then you can upload a thumbnail of that of an image of Black Ops 3 Beta that fucking someone else has or else you made or whatever the tits you want and yeah yeah so the weather fairly good isn't it anyway if you're live streaming a video they they say please include the game title to help you find new fans or new fans that find you Next, they have an op an optional features. So this just says that you can use different features to enhance your ex streaming experience. They also strongly suggest select low latency in your stream options to allow for faster chat interaction, which I think is a lot be good. I think that's fairly good. Then it says enable monetization and add a fan funding card to start earning revenue and if you don't know what that means monetization is where you get paid for the views that you get the fan funding is is like a kickstarter but i don't i, did, I don't think i'd be able to do that because in my country anyway in ireland it's not available moving on the use the share options to post about your stream on social media and then the last thing they say is go live so to start streaming, start your encoder. The status bar will indicate that you are live, which is, actually if I look at it right now, that is the bottom left. It says this stream is online, it should say. But of course mine isn't online yet, but I'll try setting it up anyway after this. To stop your streaming, to stop streaming, you stop your encoder. When your stream is complete, a public video will be automatically created and uploaded for your fans to view later and to be honest that's that's really good instead of you taking it from youtube just have to upload it from youtube or from jeez my head from twitch and then have to put it in but it just automatically puts it up which is damn right great i love that but yeah that's it's just kind of a little uh, notification video that I just wanted to give out ASAP and yeah oh yeah also if you want to know how to get to that you have to go to your channel well you don't have to go to your channel you can even go to home or even descriptions or history or whatever tits you want and then you just click on the circle on the top right not the X if you are mentally challenged the X is red this is a circle and that is a square or a rectangle so you click the circle and then you go to creator studio and people that can't read it should be a rectangle box under a whole different word and then you go to Welcome to the